This is the ULT 5520 panel loading video number three. Uh, we are looking at the XXO door from the outside looking in. The panels are already loaded into the frame. Now we have to make some final adjustments. The first step we want to do is we go to the inside of the frame and we want to mark the position of where we're going to insert the interlocker barrier clip. And the interlocker barrier clip is an extrusion that has multiple rows of weather strip and those go into the header and they lay right above the inner locker of the middle panel and the inner panel that are sliding, only above the sliding inner lockers. To do that we have to first mark the position where we're going to make them. So we go first to the um, first panel which is the right panel that slides. We look at the position of the inner locker. We make two markings right above them as such with pencil. We then go to the next middle panel and we look at the inner locker there and we make two markings right here in this position with pencil. Now to apply them we're going to have to take this barrier clip, we're going to use some fasteners and we're going to put them into the head track above the inner locker. So we move the first panel all the way open so it clears this position. We take two fasteners to go in either hole here. This is going to go into the innermost track of the first line panel. It goes into the header as such and basically it's going to get all the way attached to the top and then with one fastener through each hole through the barrier clip and into the header. We're going to then do the same thing for the other unit and to do that we have to move the fixed panels out of the way. We move the fixed panel out of the way and the middle sliding panel out of the way so the interlocker clears that position. We locate the barrier clip again so that the weather ship section lines up with here. This time we go to the middle track. We put it over on top and we apply two fasteners exactly where the holes are and that's what we do. Once those are attached and secured at the head opening, uh, we then are going to close the fixed panel back into position, line up all the panels. The next step is we're going to take the fixed panel stop which is an extrusion and it snaps into uh, the jam cavity between the middle track and the fixed panel style here. We just go from the top in, rotate it in as such and lay it into place. Then we take a wedge glazing gasket which has a, a lean to it, has a slant to it. The slant should be towards us. Make sure it's wet in a soapy water solution. And we simply wedge it in. We wedge it in. And we push it in all the way in. Okay, and then you take a rolling tool, uh, which we're not gonna show you right now, and you just tighten it all the way up and down. That is now the, uh, what we've done to secure the fixed panel from the interior. We now, what we want to do, we want to take a uh, fastener, and if you remember on the fixed panel, we had a, a clip here that was at the top of the interlocker, and that clip goes up and down. We want to take a few fasteners, and we want to secure the fasteners to the fixed interlock, interlock clip through the head and into the opening, okay? So we're going to just make believe we did that with, a fa with a screw guns and fasteners. Okay. Once that clip is secured into place, we're now going to take the head fillers. We have two head fillers. We have a long head filler and a short head filler. They both are shaped to look as such like this, where uh, are going to be inserted in the outermost track and the middle track. We're going to take the short piece first. The short piece goes in the small track and it goes in the middle track from the left position. It rotates as such. Oh, you got to make sure before you put it in that the, the piece that has the neoprene pad and the little end dam goes against the uh, inner locker of the middle panel because the other side, which goes against the jam, is open, does not have any kind of end dams against it. And you have to make sure that it's oriented as such here, that this piece goes in this way. It rotates in this way, 
snaps into place and make sure it's pushed all the way to the end here so it butts up against the jam on the left we now take the next one which is the longest piece the longer piece look at the orientation and that's going to go on the outermost track it gets rotated and snaps in place okay we now have both head fillers we now can close the doors and the next thing we want to do is we want to adjust the sliding panel so they operate properly. To do that, we want to take a number two uh, Phillips bit screwdriver and the second hole from the bottom is the hole that has the screw adjustment roller for the rollers. There's, there's one on the lat style and there's one on every inner locker. So the second hole from the bottom is what controls the screw adjustment uh, screw uh, the roll adjustment screw for each roll, okay? We have to adjust the wheels so that the panel operates okay smoothly. And you'll see the panel here operates and glides very nicely. Once everything is locked in place, we make sure that the lock works properly. It engages properly, there's no problem. If the lock doesn't engage properly, that means the panel is out of position, needs to be adjusted up and down. And you want to take a quick look, make sure that everything is square, plumb, that all the interlock lines line up and nothing is out of position, nothing is out of plumb. The last thing we want to do, we want to go back to the outside. We want to take a cork gun and we want to apply a structural sealant at the bottom of the fixed panel only along the lip of the sill where the fixed panel meets around to the fixed interlocker. And we want to apply structural sealant at the head filler where the fixed panel is here, around, and this and these two head fillers against the jams there, and up like that, so that there's no water infiltration gets in. When this is done, the panels are properly loaded, everything is operating properly, and the doors are ready to be used. And that's pretty much the loading sequence of the panels for the 520 XXO configuration. If you have an OXX. It's the same thing in reverse.